To get the most out of this course, I highly recommend that you follow along while I'm coding. To do that, there are several tools that you need to install. The first tool we need is the .NET SDK and Runtime. This is the foundation for building and running .NET applications. The .NET SDK provides tools and libraries for developing and building the applications, while the Runtime provides the environment necessary to execute those applications. To download the .NET SDK and Runtime, navigate to .NET.Microsoft.com and then in here you'll get the download option, so click the download button. You are going to be redirected to this other page where you can download and install the latest SDK. After the installation is complete, you can verify it by opening command prompt and then in here type .NET space then dash dash version and press enter. This should display the version that you just installed. Next, we need an integrated development environment or an IDE and we are going to use Visual Studio Community Edition, which is free and perfect for our needs. For that, you need to navigate to visualstudio.microsoft.com and then here just go to Downloads. You are going to get all the Visual Studio versions. We want to download and install the community version. So just click this button in here and this is going to download the Visual Studio for you. During the installation process, when you need to select the components that you want to install, make sure that you check the ASP.NET and Web Development, and then click Install and wait for the installation process to be complete. For our database, we are going to use SQL Server Express, which is a free and lightweight version of SQL Server. To download and install the SQL Server Express, you need to navigate to Microsoft.com and then SQL-Server, and then here go to Downloads, then you scroll down to download a free special edition from the options in here, select the Express version, download and install. After the installation, you can optionally install Azure Data Studio or SQL Server Management Studio to manage your databases, but throughout this course, I'm going to use Visual Studio. Finally, we are going to also install GitHub for desktop. This tool makes it easy to work with Git repositories and manage the version control for our project. To download this tool, you can just navigate to desktop.github.com and then simply click the download button. Now throughout this course, I'm going to use Visual Studio to manage the Git repository. So basically to just create the branches to also raise PRs if necessary. But if you want, you can also use this tool. I'm going to generally use Visual Studio, but I'm going to also show you how you can use the GitHub desktop. So this is all for this part. After you install all these tools, you are ready to move to the next one, which is to create the empty project, have a look at all the default files, and also push your project to a GitHub repository.